Hey! The roller coaster! A little round of the merry-go-round here to understand the exchanges of energy during a movement. My object of study here is a trolley, an open car, which is towed first, and which is then subject to self-weight, to its own weight. And the reaction of the rails of course, otherwise, it would fall in free fall. To the action of the rails, but the action of the rails is perpendicular to the move, therefore, we are not going to speak about it, because it is a force which does not work, we will therefore only consider the weight. It is impossible to talk about energy exchanges without talking about height and speed. This car has reached its maximum. He filled his container of potential energy with an outside force. What interests me are the energy exchanges from there. If the object of study, the open car, goes down, the kinetic energy increases, the potential energy decreases. Why? Because the speed, we will also say velocity, increases, and the altitude decreases. Is the loss of altitude compensated by the gain in velocity? Well that doesn't make sense. It does not mean anything to offer this kind of comparison because we do not compare a velocity and an altitude, since they are physical quantities which are not of the same nature. The velocity is in meters per second, the altitude is measured in meters. So we cannot compare them. And that is why I invite you to take an interest in energies. Kinetic energy here, due to movement. Potential energy due to position. And here, mechanical energy, which is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy. So what is going on? Let's look at the containers. In that tank, right there, you see? It does not empty, does not fill and does not empty. There you have the kinetic energy, in blue. Potential energy in yellow, and one seems to compensate for the other, so the sum remains equal. This is what is happening. We will study it more precisely. Here, here it is. The loss of potential energy here, you see, is exactly offset by the gain in kinetic energy. So there, yes, we can compare. We have two forms of energy, two physical quantities of the same nature which are both measured in joules. We see, in this example, it is a simulation of course but this is what happens in the absence of friction, one compensates the other. Kinetic energy compensates for potential energy and when it rises, well potential energy compensates for the loss of kinetic energy. See that when one wins, the other loses. When one loses, the other wins. So the sum of the two is constant. Here is the lesson. Remember, the mechanical energy of a system which is subjected only to its own weight and to the reaction of the support is constant. Also retain, in the absence of friction. See, at the end, there, it is not constant. Ha, see that the mechanical energy is not constant. It is dissipated here in the form of thermal energy, in the brakes first, and then the energy will be dissipated into the atmosphere. Same at the start, the mechanical energy is not constant, since there is a force other than the weight which intervenes. That's it for this video. Thank you.